Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to go over a couple of things, including the fact you can play Gears 5 for free through Steam for the entirety of the week. We'll go over the post over on the Xbox website, and there are a lot of good deals available on Humble, as well as a great deal on No Man's Sky that I do want to go over. That's available on Steam. However, you can get the game even cheaper on Green Man Gaming. Maybe you'll be of the mindset to get the copy of, a, of the game on Steam. Try it out, refund it, and then see if you like it, and then you can ultimately buy the game for a little bit cheaper on GMG. That's usually the route I would recommend. I don't really know if that's ethical, but nonetheless... You might as well utilize all of the features that PC gaming has to offer to you. Alright, first up, free play days for Gears 5. So this is really cool. For the entirety of this week, you'll be able to play Gears 5 for free over on Steam and also on Xbox One and things of that sort. Uh, noted on the Xbox website, in case you've missed it, we've had a lot of updates and news for Gears 5, Free Play Days, Batista, and Operation 3, Gridrion. Let's jump in. Welcome to Gears 5, Operation 3. Get in on this single life objective mode with two teams fighting to run a neutral flag into their opponent's end zone. Race to be the first team to hit 13 points to win, where you and your team fight to seize the flag, control weapons, and key positions in each short two-minute round. You're going to need to work tactically together to claim each win. More details details on it can be found on Xbox Wire. Also, Batista is back. Yes, the wrestler is in this game. Play now through April 20th and you'll automatically receive the Batista Bomb execution and Batista skin in-game. I find that absolutely hilarious. Lastly, you can find this punch card in the Microsoft Rewards app on your Xbox One console. You can earn up to 500 Microsoft Rewards points by watching the new Operation 3 trailer, earning any one of the new achievements added for Operation 3 and watching Gears 5 on Mixer. And then they lastly know don't have Gears 5 no problem. It's easy to get in on Operation 3 because Gears 5 is part of free day, play day starting today, April 6th through the 12th. Now, it's for all Xbox Live Gold or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members. They can play Gears 5 online with their gold friends during Xbox Free Play Day's console, Windows 10 PC, and Steam. Everyone can play together. Obviously, for Steam... You don't need Xbox Live Gold or anything like that. Remember when they tried to make that on a PC a thing? They tried to sell people Xbox Live Gold. Yeah, that's going to get a yikes from me. Uh, obviously, that didn't turn out all too well. And since uh, Microsoft has re-emerged into PC gaming more so over the last few years, they've obviously made a lot of better decisions. Gears 5 being available on Steam is one of those said decisions. And... While it's not live right now as I'm recording this video, Gears 5 should be live free to play on Steam any minute now. I'm refreshing and it's still not live yet. If you go on Steam DB, they have a free to play uh, period listed for that. So it should be starting here very soon. I really enjoyed Gears 5. However, I do believe that this is mostly going to be the multiplayer gameplay that you play uh, as a part of the free period. I don't know that for sure, but if they do let you play through the campaign for the week, that's kind of insane because obviously you can just go through the campaign, have a lot of fun with that. And and then play a little bit of the multiplayer as well. I thought Gears 5, again, was an enjoyable game. I really enjoyed the campaign, even though the main character, not very likable, and the, entire, the entirety of the cast in Gears 5, Really, it's a far cry from the cast in the original three Gears games. I really think they've fallen off a little bit as far as that is concerned. But Gears 5 has some really good gameplay elements, and I really enjoyed that part. And I did enjoy the multiplayer for the period that I played it. I like, bum-rushed it for a week or two, played a ton of it, and then I just kind of fell off. The Steam reception seems to be a little bit more mixed. I don't know if there's some updates or anything of that sort that have kind of pushed people away from the game. Whatever the case may be, you'll be able to try out Gears 5 for free for the entirety of the week. So do take advantage of that jump in with a couple of friends and hopefully you can have some fun with that all right moving on from that i do want to note that humble is running a really good bandai namco publisher sale right now with a bevy of deals available as a part of that most notably probably dragon ball z kakarot seeing its first major discount on pc if you're not a choice subscriber it's a 33 percent off store discount for 40 dollars and 19 cents if you do have humble choice you'll end up getting it for 34 16 which is still kind of expensive i actually bought this game day one and as a Dragon Ball fan, you're going to really enjoy this game. Uh, there's a lot of fan service here, and it's very cool to go through the Dragon Ball moments in the form of an RPG. However, there are some elements of the Dragon Ball Z anime, and I would want to say pretty iconic moments that have been cut out, which was a little bit of a bummer, but they do get the majority of the best moments. And I should also say that if you're not a Dragon Ball fan, I don't really think I have to say this, but this isn't a game for you. If you're just looking to experience the story of Dragon Ball and you don't have any nostalgia, attachment towards DBZ and you're just playing Kakarot just for the sake of a quality RPG, I don't really think you're going to enjoy it because fundamentally, if you assess this game as 
an RPG and its mechanics and everything like that, it is a very, very mediocre game. It's at that point, it's really enhanced by all of the aesthetics and the appeal of Dragon Ball Z. That's why I really enjoyed the game, but that's because I'm a big DBZ fan. If you're not, I really don't think you're going to enjoy this game because a lot of the side quests are really mundane. Even some of the combat elements aren't the best. Mechanically, it's a fine game. It's a working game. However, with there being a million great RPGs available on PC, unless you're a really big DBZ fan, I wouldn't get this one. But Kakarot, for DBZ fans, I think is really good, so I wanted to give that a mention. Speaking of which, Dragon Ball Fighters Ultimate Edition is down to 2749 20 3337 for choice subscribers always a bummer with these fighting games while fighters is an awesome game pc community is a little bit sparse right now would be great if we had cross plan games like this but alas that is not the case right now hopefully sooner rather than later that does come to fruition code vein is 30 percent off for 42 dollars anime souls like game i thought it was pretty good um given that neo 2 just came out and we haven't gotten that on pc yet maybe you're itching for a souls like game i think code vein is pretty good especially if you do dig the anime art style Tales of Asperia Definitive Edition. I think this is a fantastic JRPG, and if you want a JRPG to get into the genre, this isn't a bad one. I think the main character is very engaging. I think the entire cast in Vesperia is really engaging, but the main character is a little bit different because a lot of JRPGs fall into the trope of the zero to hero main character archetype, where the main character starts off as nothing, he fights his way up, and oh my god, he's the hero by the end of it. Sometimes that zero to hero story works out really, really well. In the case of Tales of Vesperia, Vesperia, you've just got this very likable, lackadaisical main character in Yuri, and I just think he's one of the best main characters, not in just JRPGs, in gaming in general, he's just a very likable dude, and again, the rest of the cast is really good. Tales of Gameplay is very similar from game to game, although the upcoming Tales of Game and Tales of Arise is going to be turning the franchise on its head quite a bit, and is going to be upgrading it quite a bit, which I think the franchise has been overdue for, so that's going to be really exciting to see, but if you do want to check out Vesperia for $25, I think it's a great buy, a content for game there as well. Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch is down to $29.99 a good game. Nino Kuni 1 was a game that originally released all the way back in uh, 2010, although I might sound like a hypocrite for recommending Vesperia at $25 when that game was also released all the way back in 2008. Nino Kuni is a great game, and if you do want to play it, if you enjoyed Nino Kuni 2, I actually think the first one is a better game. Might be worth a look there. Dark Souls 3 is discounted. You can get that for $14.99. That's always a good buy. Can't go wrong with that. Jump Force, for whatever reason, if you guys want to check that out, I probably would not recommend it. 19 79. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition is 40% off for $29.99. That's pretty good. That includes uh, both of the games. Those aren't perfect games, uh, but if you're a Digimon fan, you're going to really enjoy those games. Again, I would hearken those games similarly to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, where fundamentally maybe they're not the best RPGs in the world, but you add that Digimon aesthetic to it, and a lot of people are really going to enjoy that factor. You're going to be nostalgic with it, and that's going to take you through a portion of the game. Tales of Zestiria, one of the more lackluster Tales of games, is down to 12 49 still worth playing through uh but definitely recommend a vesperia as well as berseria over that one naruto storm 4 is 15 dollars. that's always a good buy enjoy that game quite a bit even though yes lackluster online community in that game at this point but the single player is quite good a lot of other good deals are available ace combat 7 skies unknown digital deluxe edition is 28 89 24 56 for choice subscribers if you want db fighters of vanilla i believe that's on sale as well although i can't find it as i am saying that a couple of other games are discounted the old uh, older naruto storm games are on sale as well so give all of those a look i'll leave a link to it in the description box below and i do get a little bit of a kickback lastly i do want to note that no man's sky is 50% off on uh, Steam right now. It is down to $29.99. Very good deal on that. Uh, I do want to note that on Green Man Gaming, it is available for $27. So the route you could go is you could buy the game on Steam, but I imagine that this is a game that's going to be a little bit of an acquired taste. So you can buy it, play it for like an hour and a half, see if you like it, then refund the game, and then buy it over on Green Man Gaming and save a little bit. Now, the issue is to get your money back from Steam, usually it takes 24 to 48 hours. So that's something to be mindful of. You could just buy the game straight up on Steam. Don't even refund it. $29.99 is really good, and you'll still have the opportunity to refund it if you just don't enjoy the game or anything of that nature. But I wanted to give that a mention as well. Do remember that if you do have a VR headset, No Man's Sky and VR is pretty incredible. I think it's a, one of the best VR experiences that you can uh, have. And uh, there's a lot of good ones, but No Man's Sky is definitely one that is worthwhile. And the game has been making significant progress over the last few years, honestly. 
And more recently, some significant updates have been put out for the game. So while the Metacritic score might be a 61, while the Steam overall reception might be mixed, more recently, the game has gotten considerably, considerably better. So that's going to conclude this video, guys. Again, by the time you're probably watching this video, hopefully Gears 5's free-to-play week is live right now. That should be going up any minute now as I'm recording this video. Humble has got a great Bandai Namco sale, so check that out. And then Steam has also got No Man's Sky discounted. That is 50% off for $30. Or you could go the route of Green Man Gaming saving... 55% and getting it for $27. That's going to conclude this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out